breaking his silence, the man who says a former Pasco County youth pastor sexually abused him when he was a teen is telling his story. And on your sides, Rod Carter joins us now live in Tampa with the details. Rod. Hey, good evening, Jen. Jonathan Kendall and his attorneys held a news conference right here at the Bar Association in Tampa. They sat down to tell their story. They say they don't want any child to go through what Jonathan says he went through when he was a teenager. Jonathan Kendall is dealing with pain and depression. And I bear it every day and I've felt it every day these last 10 years. Kendall says in 2009, when he was 17 years old, Jeremiah Smith, a youth pastor at the time at Hudson First United Methodist Church, repeatedly sexually battered him. Kendall, a homeschool student, says Smith took advantage of his desire for a friend circle and started grooming him years before. He would do hugging, and it was that hugging where he would embrace you and then it, it would make you cringe because of just how long and uncomfortable it was. Kendall now lives in New York and is married. He told his parents last December after finding out Smith was a cheer coach in a program his sisters attended. He later called Smith with law enforcement listening in. He acknowledged the act of what he did to me. And that led to Smith's arrest. And now he's filed a lawsuit against Smith, Hudson First United, and even the church's conference. Why would you let him continue operating the way he did. Where was the accountability? Where was the, the checks to make sure that he wasn't alone with students like myself? We reached out to the church for a response and they told us it would be inappropriate to make a comment on ongoing litigation. By the way, Smith is still facing criminal charges as well as now these civil charges. He no longer works at the church, hasn't for a while, and he also doesn't work at that gym any longer either. Live in Tampa, Rod Carter, 8 on your side.